You're watching the 2023 ISC Intercollegiate Singles Championship from the South Point Tournament Plaza in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. Four great collegiate bowlers are here competing for a national title and a place in college bowling history. Here are the matchup. A.J. Walston, home of Weber International, takes on teammate Adam Atkins, also of Weber. In the second semifinal, Austin Grammer from that same school, Weber International from Babson Park, Florida, matches up with Vincent Luan from Fresno State. Hello, bowling fans. Welcome to fabulous Las Vegas. Great to have you with us. Dave Ryan alongside the Hall of Famer, Kelly Kulik. A distinct theme here, KK, in our match to start our show here. Weber International has three bowlers on the show. It's going to be challenging to face a teammate, right? Exactly. A lot of green in the audience, green on the lanes. How do you bowl against your teammate? And the answer to that question, Dave, is simply bowl the pins. A lot of camaraderie amongst all the men here today. And don't forget about that freshman, Vincent Luongo. Yeah, Vincent Luong, an outstanding freshman from Fresno State, only 18 years old. He's on a big stage here today. How do you think he handles the pressure? I think like anything else, he's got nothing to lose. He's a lone freshman in the field. He's going to be a little bit more left to right than the other Weber players themselves. If he bowls the pins and attacks it with his method of playing the lanes, he might be successful in seeming the championship round. We can't wait for college bowling here on CBS Sports Network. ISC Intercollegiate Singles Championship. Semifinals on the way from Vegas. Predict what customers transform your business. You have earned it. You have four days of. By being prepared for anything. Future is here. here. It's often thrown around in places it really shouldn't be. But in the case of longtime member of the Boeing community, Randy Stoughton, it certainly was the case. From his time on both the PBA and PWBA tours as a ball rep, through his coaching at Weber International, Randy was always a man of integrity. Randy passed away in January, and our thoughts and prayers go out to his family and the bowlers who were always part of his bowling family. Rest in peace, Randy. You will be missed by all of us. AJ. Weber suffered a huge loss when you lost Randy this past year, but I know you've been honoring him with your chant before you started your team competition. Can you tell the fans out there what that chant was and how it's really recognizing Randy? Absolutely. So every day Randy was in the training center. Every day he demanded our best, and, and he expected nothing less. And if you didn't give it to him, he would get on you, he would yell at you, he, sometimes he'd kick you out. Mm -hmm. So that chant kind of fires us all up and reminds us, this is what Randy expects from us, so we better give it to him. Excellent. And Adam, how does that chant go? Randy on three, Randy on three, one, two, three, then we all yell, Randy. So Randy Stoughton's memory is being honored all the way through Weber. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Good luck in this opening semifinal match, and good luck to both of you. Kelly, thanks so much for an emotional time for Weber here today. Our BPA Road to the Finals. Intercollegiate Singles Championships, ISC, AJ Adam head to head. Austin Grammer and Vincent Luong will battle in the second semifinal winners. Play for a national championship here today in Las Vegas. From Weber International University, AJ Wolstenholm. AJ gets us started. Hard to imagine three Weber bowlers. On the ISC show here today from Vegas, but here we go. First shot of the show. AJ looks good. Wow, blast the one three pocket. All 10 back. Powerful strike to start off the competition, Dave. He's a little nervous, <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> From Weber International University, Adam Atkins. <laughs> Here's Adam Atkins. Metairie, Louisiana, just outside New Orleans. One-hander, get started, cross it over. Nice time of Brooklyn strike, leaves a six pin. Of time having to wait in that back seat, waiting to throw that first delivery. Single pin spare should be an easy conversion. 
Pulls out of AMF All-Star Lanes, Kenner, Louisiana. Big challenge today to match the rev rate of the two-handers on the show. Won't be easy, especially against his teammate, AJ. Our future for the sport oil pattern. Kelly here today. Let's break it down. Yeah, the men are bowling on a 41-foot pattern. High volume. Anything above 28 mils is considered high. We're 29.4, medium to low scoring. You'll see that light blue bumper at about 25 to 29 feet. We call that a little speed bump on the Pro Tour. The ball will not pick up speed, but might accelerate. look like it's accelerating a little bit more. And as you see the gentlemen playing, they're playing more linear, straighter up the lanes towards the outside, trying to keep their angles in front of them. Atkins left lane, that's gotta hurry. It's in way light. One, two, four, seven, right down the line here for Adam Atkins. Big miss right. Leaves the rail, one, two, four, seven. So an adjustment necessary to keep an eye on Adam on that. Left lane in this first semifinal match. So the man when he's nine years old. Lot to cover. Nicely done. Good mark. Can't afford an open at any time in a pressure packed match like this. His dad got him into bowling. Signed up for junior bowling in his area and just fell in love with the sport. Here's AJ outside Philadelphia. Trebos, Pennsylvania. He is a big detail guy, Kelly tells us. So into the analytics, studies the game closely. I think every person at Weber International studies the game closely. It's just the environment they're in. It teaches them everything from bowling balls to the to the oil. A lot of success stories there. And success on the shot, to be sure, for AJ. Yeah. As he absolutely tattoos the 1-3 pocket. He's got a perfect start here, Kel. Yeah. Five-step approach. Notice he starts very, very tall. Look at his left hand. Ball rolls to the back of the fingertips. Right elbow goes straight up towards the ceiling. And then notice his eyes are straight ahead looking at his target. Slight knee bend pops up at the end, but really has a lot of power throughout its entire approach. Early 14-pin lead here. Looks for the first three. Got it. Wow. He is locked in on either lane. Shrapnel remains in the pit. Those pins have no chance whatsoever against Walston Hall. Do you expect high scoring play here, Kelly, on the pattern? Well, if you look at what the, the gentleman averaged through the qualification to get here, they were all above the 200 average, 210, 222 for upcoming bowlers as well. Whenever you're playing straight, you keep a more direct path to the pocket, less likely for the angles to increase and control the pocket, leaving single pin spares just like that. It really just comes down to lane play and how they're gonna break down and who moves the quickest. Certainly a better shot there for Adkins, but does have a single pin spare conversion coming up in a big hole early here. You look at Adam's game. Really, really nice arm swing. Uh-oh. Got it. Just Ooh. enough. A lot of smiles. These guys know each other so well. Of course, we asked them both pre-match, Kelly, about facing each other. And there's some pressure. Also kind of lightens things up. Woo. Wow, ball Tight. pretty much in the gutter as it just clipped. What we say? You just got to touch the pin, right, Dave? Just got to touch pin. it to knock it over. It's a spare in the scorebook. It's all matters. <laughs> By a whisker. Needs a strike here. Comes in a touch high, leaves a very tough split. Just watching Four, in six, general, seven. the left lane just looks like it has a little bit more early hook to begin with. Now the gentleman got the ball about 15 minutes of practice prior. They each got two deliveries before the match began. But you notice, I always check to see where the bowler is sliding, where they're crossing at the arrows. He's sliding about 17, 10 at the arrows, eight at the break point area. Now that's a 43 feet right there. And you can see the ball still is just high through the head pin, leaving the four, six, seven. Lots of cover, open frame, that's damaging. The lead for AJ balloons here to 39 pins. He's been perfect to start. This will go up by 49 with a strike to get the front four. 
He's in the driver's seat to begin play here, no doubt. Marketing major, a junior at Weber National with incredible tradition, men's and women's national championships, individual and team. They have been dominant. Too far from Orlando, Babson Park. AJ has some help across the deck. Oh boy, that scout messenger KOs the 10. And the lead is 49. Watch the ball go through the pins. Six pin slides in front of the gutter, but which is typical about these young gentlemen with a higher rev rate. Watch the head pin. Goes off the sidewall, comes all the way back to messenger and take out the 10 pin. That just shows how much power they're generating with their rev rate, their rotations per minute. High wind probability right there, Dave. I'll say, looking really good. For front five and a 59 pin lead. Can it keep it going? Not this time. It was a good shot. 10 pin stands. Awesome. Strike streak ends for AJ, but still he's got an enormous lead here. Yeah, both gentlemen using urethane equipment. You can see he slid a little bit further left, slight angle out to eight. Six pin falls in front, leaves the 10 flat. And standing, cross lane for the spare. AJ did try one handed at one point, but really converted back to two handed and had so much more success. That, no worries. Single pin spare conversion. Cross lane for AJ. Did you know more than 85,000 kids bowl in high school, but only 4,000 of them can find college programs? Collegiate bowling is growing fast, but there's still work to be done. Learn how to start a program at your college. Please visit bowl.com slash collegiate. All right, time is now here for Atkins. He needs a huge rally. And a flush strike for Adam, his best shot of the match, as he crushes the one-three pocket. Weber Warriors like that one. Yep, sliding 17, 10 at the arrows, 8. You can see when the ball comes off the end of the pattern, it's really smooth and continuous. Whereas the left lane, I see a bit of a jumpiness, jump, jumpiness, because that's even a word. Sure. But it picks up pretty quick and continues to go a little bit more angular. Cut to 38. Oh. oh, it went all right. A good shot for Adam. And some help across the deck for the 10 pin. The cut to 38, but he's still in a big hole in this first semifinal. All Weber International matchup. Walston Holm and Adam Atkins. Adam was absolutely desperate. Needed this strike and got it. To stay in contention against Walston Holm his Weber international teammate. You think life is short? Football will just for the tr with my why lifestyle or it is so back fills strengthens legs itself. certain it's promotional products championships on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Kegel built for bowling by Pepsi the official soft drink of bowling and by BPAA. The USBC and BPAA are working together to build a future for the sport of bowling at all levels. Visit BPAA.com today to find out more. What's better than Vegas? The answer is nothing. Bowl TV. Highlight of the week. AJ Walston home. Kelly brings our Bowl TV highlight of the week. The men's singles competition in order to make the show. Needed to win his final two matches, one of them by four pins. To make TV be forced to take on his teammate here in Adam Atkins. And so far, Kelly, he's delivered with a great semifinal match. Yeah, truly living up to the name Warrior. Never giving up to the end. Proved it in that semifinal match, making it to the TV show right now. He has been in four. control. Sure has. 38 pin lead. Sorry about that, Kel. Good frame here. Works on a spare. To the sixth. Layout. Dominant, touch high, just leaves a three pin. 
That 41 foot pattern means there's 19 feet left to the pocket in the head pin. Urethane allows it to keep it straight on line. Watch here, sliding around 17, 18, same area as Adam, 11 out to eight, nine. Watch the green pin, see as it migrates and starts to change direction early enough. So they will have to start chasing the pattern slightly inward. All Warriors semifinal. We get our show here today from Vegas. Thank you. Is that no problem? Off the lanes, AJ tells us he's quite a cook. Very good at uh, <laughs> certain breakfast specialties, uh, chicken and rice, different ways to present that. Cooks for his teammates sometimes, pretty awesome. His new hobby, he yeah. likes to be challenged and cooking has been like a challenge that. for him. Like that. Yeah, he's just right, right now letting the body do what it wants to do. Shut down the brain, keep good rhythm with his timing and his approach, feel what he wants to do with the ball and see the lane and then execute. The junior looks for help again, got it. And a pin action off the wall and to the 10 pin. Fabulous for each bowler here with a messenger and it pays off for AJ. Sliding a little bit deeper, more angle from left to right. Again, head pin off the sidewall, comes back. It just seems to be a common theme now with, with two-handed players and, and high rate rate athletes. No. Atkins comes in high. And the nine pin stands for Adam. He didn't like it at all. No, no. The call. Watching his release, too, I talked to Coach Del Warren early on before the matches even began. Hey, the face. And he's got low tilt. Low tilt, meaning the ball is just going to read the lane really, really early, and that's exactly what it did. But when he executed, oh, his reaction was not likable of what the result was. But a makeable spare. Go. Got that no problem. Big fan of Chris Barnes growing up. The Bowling Combine 2023 Athlete Assessment Program will take place June 1st to July 29th in Arlington, Texas and provides an opportunity for future collegiate stars to be evaluated by collegiate coaches from across the country. The athlete application deadline is approaching soon. Visit bowl.com slash combine for all the details. Not too common to see one-handers, especially the rev rate and power Adam has. Do you remember what his nickname was, Dave? The Moose. The Moose. Here's the most left lane. Thought it was better. Man, that head pin off the sidewall has been frequent here in this first match, but somehow misses the 10 pin. Adam really likes to play straight, too. He's a gutter player, feels very comfortable out there, always in control. This is his sweet spot. I find it interesting that he switches from a urethane to a reactive resin ball for his spare, so even though he's straightening oh, out. Whoa, way off. I missed that. It's not count. So it's an open frame, and the hole deepens for Adam. AJ on the bench sees the lead balloon out of 50. Okay. This is just about over as we head to the eighth already. AJ dominant, front four. Works on a strike here for a 60-pin lead. Yeah, max score for Adam is 198. AJ just stays clean. He will run away with this match and see him in the finals. Right lane, AJ. Looks good. Wow. Well, I talked to the PBA bowlers, Kelly, and you know from your great career on the women's tour. And when your opponent has it open, you take advantage of the strike, and AJ does just that. Absolutely, Dave. Uh, on the men's tour, women's tour, you, you get to throw maybe one bad shot a game. If your opponent gives you a little leeway, okay, that's two poor shots a game. But right now, as you said, AJ is in control. He's going to experiment here. He pretty much locked up the match, so he can play around, get comfortable, and see what the lane is telling him what to do. Right here goes up 70 to his foundation frame and 
after this shot, it's mathematically over. Must have the bucket leave. 4-5. Four, 4-5 five. Four, five instead. Not something I want to shoot at either. No. <laughs> but he's just going to advance here and make the championship match. Bowled really well, especially to start with the front four. Six strikes in all. Junior from outside Philly. One step closer to a national championship. Big. Belmonte fan, big Simonson fan, as he told us this week. It's amazing at how good the pros are. Not an easy shot. No, sure it's enough, not. Sure enough, a four-pin stance for an open frame. A.J. Wollstenholm, the junior from Weber International, has advanced. Knocks off teammate Adam Adkins. Probably don't remember. A, a tree can. And corner of the earth. Let's tell the world. Welcome back to the beautiful South Point Bowling Plaza in Las Vegas. Fantastic facility. It's the ITC ISC Championships in 2023. Bowling operations at South Point. Angie Bonifazi is here. Thank you so much. And you for all your hard work and hospitality, much appreciated. All right, Kel, BPA road to the finals. We see AJ with an impressive win over teammate Adam Atkins from Weber International. Now it's Austin Grammer, also from the Warrior program, head to head with 18 year old freshman Vincent Malone. Ladies and gentlemen, from Fresno State University, Vincent Luong. Freshman from Roseville, California. I can imagine the nerves here, Kelly, for someone so young with so much pressure. Yeah, first time TV appearance. Looking to make a statement, not only for himself, but for Fresno State. Fresno State Bulldog gets started with a strike. Ladies and gentlemen, from Weber International University, Austin Grammer. From Hamersville, Ohio, about an hour southeast of Cincinnati, small town, Austin tells us. That's Purple Hammer. Fan of Michael Fagan's game growing up, he told us. But Austin's a two hander. A little high, but just a seven pin. Austin came to Weber really looking to develop his skills. Did have had an elbow outside of swing. Arm swing was behind his back, but look at his two hand. Look at his eyes and his head staying focused forward. Left hand is in front, right elbow goes straight up towards the ceiling. You're looking for that 70 to 90 degree bend in the back in order to gain maximum leverage and for that elbow to go up towards the ceiling. High ball speed, high rev rate. And again, trying to keep his angles in front of him to be successful here today. Small town in Ohio, only 300 people. From a small program, as you might imagine, three-time high school player of the year. But Kelly, as you talked about, had a lot of development to do at Weber, in the world-famous Kegel Bowling Center, one of the top development centers in the country and in the world. It's the home center for Weber, so his game has come a long way. Left lane. That looks good. That looks good. Both of his previous teammates really tried to, what we call, burn the track. A lot of friction to the right, so you have something to roll it to, and it reads it and changes direction. Austin is playing much further left, sliding 25, 15 at the arrows, really keeping it on line with that three pin, or that linear shape that I was referring to earlier. Six pin doesn't sit flat. It wraps itself and kicks out that 10 pin.
Vincent, the only one throwing reactive resin on the TV show today. Only Don Warrior on the show. <laughs> right lane for Vincent. That was good, too. First time in ISC history, Kelly, three bowlers from the same program on one show. Yeah. Vincent in the similar area as Austin is from Weber. Six step approach, really shuffling those first two steps. Look at the high back swing. Left arm is ready out to the side. Eyes focusing forward and the powerful knees right there. He's gonna accelerate. Maintains that leverage at the foul line. Looking to create a little bit more power with the reactive resin left to right, further deep inside. And again, controlling the pocket. Big fan of PJ Haggerty. B.J. Moore, obviously a top seed of the World Series of Bowling. Uh-oh. That got away from him there. And the result is the dreaded 7-10 split. Almost yeah. unmakeable. You can see I, I kind of saw that just off his hand, really farther inside, left to right. A lot more angle. Found some friction to get it back. Could have been just a week 7 or a week 10. Unfortunately, a bad split. And it's a foul. So, no pins there on that shot. Let's take a look. See that left foot. No doubt. Yep. Got to it. All right, so no pins. And that hurts after the great start. First two were strikes. First time on TV, he's 18 years old. <laughs> I mean, you've got a lot going through your mind, you foul. You've got to overcome all that. Stayed behind that time. Made sure, oh. yeah. And 6 10 stand as he came in really high. So just like that, down 14 pins with a really tough third frame. Austin back up on the right lane. 221 average. I think he shot 1333 for six games. Highest score in qualifying. Wow. Didn't like it. And the 3 6 up for him comes in high. So each of the bowlers now trying to find that 1 3 pocket with some consistency. Yeah, it's interesting here, right? I, I said earlier the pocket's right at board 17. He's really trying to keep the ball over that first trace marker at board 15. So that means there's only two more boards to the pocket. He's right 14 there at that 37 to, to 40 foot marker. And the ball really is going to have a short time to get to the pocket. Can't change too much direction if you're going to stay that direct online to the pocket. 3 6 for the spare conversion coming up. Got that just enough. That's a crucial mark. One game match. It goes by quickly. Anytime you try to accelerate really quickly, to accelerate, meaning you want more ball speed, you want the ball speed to keep it online, but there's always that tendency to pull down from the top of the swing, whether you're one-handed or two-handed, to miss slightly inside of your target. Terrence Angie and Herbie are here watching. Left lane wants that to really react well. Very end of the 60 feet, but double wood 2 8. And that ben was struggles. a better shot. Mm -hmm. That was a better shot. We, we heard coaches talk about at the break in the previous match when AJ was starting to struggle a little bit, get left and get a little bit softer. A little bit softer. Remember that speed bump I mentioned earlier, Dave? Well, that speed bump is going to make it look like it's just hydroplaning on an ice, on a ice skating rink. And there it is right there. Ball does not quite pick up and roll towards the pocket. Leaves that light 2 8 spare. So long despite the foul. With Grammer struggling a bit here. He's right back in the match. 2 8 on the foot covers nicely. Good mark. To maintain the lead. Chats there with Tom Hankey Jr. One of the coaches for Weber International. I remember seeing Tom in past years, right? right? Absolutely. Great bowler. See him on the TV side as well, PB, PBA broadcasts. He uh, went to school, graduated from Weber, and stayed on staff now. He's working in the research and development area. Does a lot with the lane machines and the oils themselves. 
and of which I did not mention, but the men are bowling on fire. Only one oil used in this event, fire oil. So Del Warren, Ruben Garagosian, and Hanky Jr., a former ISC national champ himself, are splitting up duties here with three bowlers from Weber on the show. Each will have some coaching. But one coach won't work with two pl players. That's unique. Luan, get that to hurry, looks for help across the deck. Wow, a nudge on the 10 pin, somehow it stays up. Defying the laws of physics, Kelly. I don't yeah. know how it didn't fall. Not quite sure either, off the sidewall with that head pin as we've seen so many times. Further left to right, reactive resin, no effect of the urethane balls going down the lane. Just enough angle behind the head pin so it's more in front of it as it just passes by. Gives it a little love tap, but not enough to knock it down. Third frame foul eight really hurts Benson's chances here, but eight spare, eight spare for Grammer in the third and fourth frame, so it's still close. I always say 10 frames can feel like an eternity or it could feel like a sprint. There's a 10 pin, there's the mark for the freshman. Business major. I always like to ask the bowlers in the pre-match interviews, Kel, what they want to be doing in 10 years. And he said, I want to be working in the business world and bowling on the PBA Tour. Yeah, I think that's a common theme amongst all our athletes in this telecast, as many of them would like to give the PBA a chance to test their skills against the best bowlers in the world. I'm sure we'll see some future stars out there in the upcoming years. Started bowling, as you said, with Debbie Haggerty, PJ's mom. And uh, PJ, a lot of success in the, in the regional tour, especially on the PBA, many, many titles on that West Coast region, as well as having some success nationally. Vincent really needs a strike here. Somehow, again, the pin action doesn't reach the 10 pin. Cannot find that 1-3 pocket to start striking. Got ourselves a slugfest here, Kelly. Yep. He's sliding 21, 22, 14, 15 at the arrows. I mean, you can see the ball really trying to, to stand up, getting into that forward roll position at the pocket. But as you see, it starts to deflect towards the 10 pin. I always tell my students, you want to see the ball either continue it towards the left side of the pocket, split the 8-9 is the most ideal reaction. But if it starts deflecting to the right, that's a chance to either slow up the ball speed, let the ball read the mid lanes, or maybe go to a stronger bowling ball. Well done from the long. Still in the match, only down by 13. Let's see what Austin does after conversing with Tom Henke of how he's going to play the lane. So adjustments have got to be made, right? Yeah. Yeah. Straighter and firmer. Tom said he wanted, I thought the suggestion was to stay a little bit more direct in front. Because of his ball speed so firm, I don't think softening up is one of his assets. So again, more linear, more direct towards the 1-3 pocket. Grammar right lane. There it is. Good advice, certainly, from Tom Hankey, the 2019 ISC champion. As he rushes the 1 3 pocket with some power. Yeah, I think Austin's plan was the right plan. It was just a little, far, a little too close to the head pin. That one was about two boards to the outside of where he was earlier. More time for the ball to get to the pocket, or less time and, and small direction change. Looking to continue his lead here if he doubles. Looks for his third strike of the match and a 23 pin lead into the sixth. Big shot, left lane. No. Oh. Disaster. Four, six, split. I like his aggression. He's really, he's playing offense. He's attacking the lane pattern, doing what he does well. That one in the same spot, but as I said earlier, I, I noticed some earlier read on that left lane, more pickup in the mid lane, and you can see right there, it was exact same shot as he threw on the right lane, but the uh, difference is, is a little bit more friction early on on that left lane. Takes the four, leads the six, and it is a one-pin match, Kelly. We're looking forward to an exciting finish here in Vegas. Yeah, that foul didn't hurt Vincent, so let's see what happens when we come back.
starts a new season and an old rivalry. Don't miss the Old Firm Derby on CBS Sports Network. On season six of Fansville, it's the last year of college football as we know it. What's going on? The road to the playoff is expanding. To 12 lanes. Rivalries are crumbling. Why are you leaving? TV revenue. We wouldn't understand. So we're just not rivals anymore? Tensions are rising. Where's the flag? These refs should be criminally investigated. Do something! Because this season, things are heating up. What's happening, Sheriff? It's a transfer portal. It's out of control. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. I'm ambitious. I will not hide it. We will not hide it. We embrace ambition. Women are made to be ambitious. I will dream big. Big. Without hesitation. We will take risks. Not live in fear. We will rise together. Rise above the negativity. No longer will ambition in a woman be, be seen, seen as, as a negative. negative. Be persistent. Don't apologize. Never give up on your goals and dreams. We will model ambition for our daughters. And our sons. I will help women around the world. The whole world. To succeed. You have to persevere. Women are tough, strong, powerful. We've got to be a part of this conversation. Ambition is feminine. Ambition is empowering. Ambition is not a dirty word. I can think of a lot of dirty words. Ambition is not one of them. Ambition is sexy. Ambition is very sexy. What's your ambition? To help women build empires. Help more women run for office. Empower women financially. Help women entrepreneurs. Create powerful images. Change people's lives. Fight gender stereotypes. Equality for all. For all of us to lead in together to transform societies change the world take the stigma out of the word ambition own your power own your power own your drive own your dreams own your dreams no judgments no, no judgments. judgments we own it take the pledge take the pledge take the pledge embrace ambition embrace ambition will you Get ready for non-stop action that will have you say, you gotta be Oh my, Canada. This could change things. What? As you might imagine here in Las Vegas, Dave, along with Kelly Hewitt, Hall of Famer, ISC Men's Championship here in 2023. Some long freshman from Fresno State, head to head with Austin Grammer from Weber International. Second semifinal. Jay Walston home. The junior also from Weber has advanced to the championship match. Only a one pin semi here. The long steps up. And the sixth works on a spare. Every shot from here on in is huge. Right lane for Vincent. All right. Catches the strike. Down by one, all of a sudden, he takes the lead. Strike here is up by nine pins. So the match has turned. Yeah, look here, he's sliding 21, 22, 14, 15 to eight. We've talked about that area before. If the one, if the lane pattern's 41 feet, so on Brunswick Pro End Lane, you're looking for the ball to change direction about three to five feet past the end of the pattern. Most likely three feet would be the best. Let that ball slow down, pick up into the roll. If you're in the right part of the lane with the right ball, you're going to throw those messengers and carry 10 pins. Huge shots go up by nine here. Left lane, Vincent. Oh, really good shot. Seven pin stands. Wow. You know, I never liked geometry, Dave. Round ball, hitting round pins, had a triangular shape, and something like that. You've had all these head pins bounce off the sidewall. Watch right here. Head pin goes to the left side, should go to the two, the four. The four should run right into the seven pin, but no, lo and behold, it stands there by itself. Lo and behold. Four pin just in front. Had he left the 10 pin, he would have carried it with the messenger. Ugh, triangles, go figure. Seven pin, no problem there. The bowling tournament plaza is located in a huge bowling center, so you may hear some pin crash around on our show here as other bowlers practicing. In fact, right behind us at this incredible facility, AJ's getting ready for the championship match. So, one of the top facilities in the nation. The 
goes to the Collegiate Championships in 2023. It's a busy place. Austin. Familiar corner pin again. Back to back seven pins. One for Vincent, one for Austin. Sliding at the foul line there, just slightly off center. Right foot gets behind him, opens up the hips a little bit, but he's playing very direct. Watch him slide here, 21-22. Now everything is in the right leverage position, and then that heel turns in, hips open up. Oh, head pin comes off, five pin was going over, slide over. And again, the seven pin is knocked over. So a one pin lead for Austin. Only three frames left. Who is going to face AJ in that championship match? Like Vincent Austin would like to bowl on tour one day. Came from the small town of Hamersville, Ohio. Had a cousin who told him about Weber International. And his cousin said, if you're serious about bowling, you should go there. Check it out. There's the win probability. Close finish. Whoa. Way off the mark. Light hit. One, two, four, eight, ten. A lot up here. Just five pins. Yeah, the left lane is really forcing him to move inward and create a little bit more angle. That is just too much angle on this pattern. Really difficult challenge. I said, if, if you move left, I think you have to be much softer with your speed. Have a little bit feel at the bottom. Austin really likes to attack the lane with firm ball speed, high rev rate. It's a makeable spare. Just slide the ball to the left side of the head pin. Hope the head pin diagonally goes into the 10 pin, takes it out. One, two, four, seven, eight, ten. 10. Covers beautifully. That's a huge spare because he had fallen behind with count this late in the match. What a shot. Yeah. Again, just on that left side of the head pin, and the spare can be made and missed so many different ways. So often enough do we see the head pin wrap itself around the 10. Nice direct angle, kicks it out, no problem. Three strikes in the match, the first two, and then in the sixth. Eighth frame works on a spare. Big shot, Vincent delivers. There's the hit on the nine pin. And the break that he's been looking for all match. Yes. 215 max score for Vincent. 201 for Austin. As we saw in qualifying, Dave, most of the matches came down to the 10th frame. Another strike right here forces Austin to make a good shot in the ninth frame, give him a chance and an opportunity. Foundation frame, go up by 14. Big shot for the freshman. Vincent delivers. 60 feet to success as he crunches the 1-3 pocket. Tattoos the rack. That's a big one for a 14 pin advantage. See how the ball just drives to the pocket. I said those motions. That ball just really geared itself to the eight pin as it ran it over. Time is now here. Great shot, Austin. Put some pressure now on Vincent as we head toward the 10th frame. Yeah, and this is another foundation frame, like you said, Dave. He has to strike here in the 10th frame to give himself a chance. And the left lane has not been his good lane. He's really struggled with it. Reads in the middles a lot earlier. Needs to move slightly more inward, but to get a little bit softer with that speed if he's going to be successful. Key frame for him. Any chance is right now. Needs it and doesn't get it. Two four seven. So by making the spare, he can strike out for one eighty one on the fill ball. 
Vincent just needs some good mark in the 10th frame or stay clean. And they should be able to advance. I always said it early on, kind of a slugfest match. Lane's transitioning. Oh. Does not get to the seven pin. And Malone has essentially wrapped this up. Closing in on the win over Austin Grammer. We will not have an all Weber International Championship match, it appears. And we still have the uh, one-hander versus the two-hander coming up in that championship match. Five pins here. Kelly, that is all Vincent needs to shout out Austin and end this match. Had that foul happen later in the match, it could have been a yeah. game changer. But early enough to recoup and recover? I was back in the third frame. Seems like a different match, right? Yeah. <laughs> a long time ago. Needs five for the win here. Gets the strike, gets the victory. And Vincent Luong is through to the championship match. To take on A.J. Ralston home of Weber International. One-handed freshman, the two-hander of the Warriors. We'll go head-to-head -to -head today for a national championship here in Las Vegas. Just a freshman, one match away from a national title. You think college went by fast? College football goes by faster. The regular season is only 14 weeks, just three days a week. That's it. So cherish every over and under before it's over on FanDuel. With live betting from the first down to the final whistle. Because before you know it, parking lots will just be for parking again. All customers get a no-sweat bet on any college football game this week. FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Never expected I would be a single parent, but it just turned out to happen that way. I don't have nobody and my kids need me. That's why I work from home. I don't like leaving their side. Yeah, when I first moved here, I had nothing. Then I found this church. If you're hungry, you know, if they got it, they'll feed you. At least now I know I gotta, you know, help if I need it. I love my kids times infinity. There ain't a thing I wouldn't do for them. They said I couldn't dream. Called me a piece of trash and swore that's all I'd ever be. Said a bottle couldn't see the ocean. Give up. Go back to the dumpster. But I didn't listen. I made my way. always wanted to be. So, tell me, young man, do you remember what your dad and I taught you about hands-only CPR? Yes! Uh, kind of. If you see a teen or adult suddenly collapse, the first thing you do is... Call 911. And the second thing you do is... Push hard and fast in the center of the chest at a rate of at least 100 beats per minute. Who even knows what 100 beats per minute sounds like? When you get down by the way I use my phone for performance, then no time to talk. Music stop when they're falling. He's in match one, and lost an unimpressive 224, 173. Yeah, he dominated that match. Pretty much was over in the eighth frame when he clinched it up with a strike. Atkins, unfortunately, 173. Did not advance. So one Weber International player to the championship, but in match two, the second semi, Vincent Luong from Fresno State, just good enough, overcame that third frame foul. Yeah, early on in the match, that F8 with that foul recuperated, came back with a big score of 204, and the only freshman one-handed in the field. But AJ, two-hander from Weber, coming up in our championship match. Who's going to win it, the Bulldog or the Warrior? I'm Jenny Gart.
15 million children feeding America yours. What you're thinking? Should I shave my hair back? Perm tree trust boss. Absolutely free. Some things are smartasset.com. Then you'll be matched with up to three vetted fiduciary financial advisors. Over the finals, ISC Championship. AJ beat Adam, both from Weber International out of Florida. That was Luan over Brammer in match number two. So here we go, championship match. That's the home head to head. Vincent Luan. Parents right behind the ballers watching closely. <laughs> I'm sure, Kelly, they're as nervous as anybody, right? Yeah, I always say it's more nervous watching the competition than it is to actually deliver the ball and execute. So nerves all around. Here we go. Championship match underway with AJ. Nice start. Big, big change in angles when we first saw AJ in that first opening semifinal match. Much further inside, almost in the same zone as Vincent. More in to out or left to right for the right-handed bowler. Soft speed. Let's see how Vincent responds. Cindy, Dad, Andy, watch it closely. Or maybe in Cindy's case, you can't watch. <laughs> A lot of pressure. Freshman didn't like it much out of his hand. That's why. 3 6 10 up. Yeah, inside his target. Not as quite, didn't quite float the ball more left to right like he has been. 3 6 10. Look, he's sliding at 24, which means his lay down point is somewhere on 19 or 18 inside the 40 to 43 foot tracer. Did not like it at all off his hand. But first frame, long way to go. Remember, overcame a foul in the first semifinal in his third frame. Still won the match, 204, 169 over Grammar. Covers nicely, big spare. The last thing you want early is an open. We got the feeling, Kelly, in our meeting with Vincent that he would be able to handle the pressure pretty well. Seemed kind of happy-go-lucky about this, not maybe realizing how significant this is as a youngster to get this far, and sometimes that's an advantage, right? It is, it is. Very lighthearted. You come here for the for the team competition, for the singles competition. You're the on, only soul on the lane bowling against the pins. But as a freshman, your outlook's like, hey, I'm brand new to this. Many more years to come, nothing to lose. Let me do what I came here to do, and that's just bowl my game. Left lane for Benson, had a really hurry and didn't. And ends up with a really tough 2-10 split. Yeah, last shot on the right lane was definitely inside of his target, more in front of him. This one, he really got left to right with it, as you can see. 16, 17, eight board right there, pretty good. But remember that speed bump? I said from 25 to 29 feet, when you're going away from the pocket and you hit that speed bump, it's just gonna hide your plane a little bit longer. And I don't know, Dave, if, if you remember the telecast this year, but uh, there's a common theme that, that Nick Hoagland, our, our lane pattern designer, came up with is all the patterns on the telecast are ones that have been used on past TV shows. Did not make the 210. So if you've watched the telecast, EJ Tackett won the Men's U.S. Open. These young athletes are bowling on this year's 2023 Men's U.S. Open pattern. Wow. Ruling competition to get to TV, of course, on the PBA side. Just breakthrough one of four titles attack and heading into the championship. That explains some of the scores. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt about US it. US Open is always a challenging pattern. That's sure. hence why the medium to low scoring. AJ looks for back to back strikes. And pretty good pin action there. Could have been a lot worse. Just the eight pin for him coming up. Light eight pin. He's shaking his head, Kelly. Yeah, he thought it was a good execution. 
So there's that pattern. See that light blue? Looks like a hammerhead shark down the lane with the, the hammer coming out to the side. There's that speed bump. So the lane tapers from front to back really wide at the base, gets narrow as it goes towards the pocket. But with that little speed bump, anytime you go inward and go left to right from the inside out and hit that, it's just going to hide your plane a little bit more. That's where speed control is going to be so important. Has the spare. Calling all bowlers. Follow at youth underscore bowling on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok to stay in the loop on all things youth bowling. Whether it's stories about upcoming events, contest giveaways, or tournament coverage, you won't want to miss out. He's kind of wondering, too. I saw in competition he did throw reactive resin in his matches to win. Now staying with the urethane. And urethane, as you know, for those out there, it's a non-porous type cover. It means the oil does not absorb into the ball itself. It carries it down to the lane. And that's why it becomes so challenging with urethane and reactive resin, making the backs that much more tighter and that much more difficult to change direction. See the breakdown, left lane, right lane, into his second match now. Strikes in the semifinal win over Adkins. Looks a little softer. There Good it shot. is. The adjustment. I like the reaction. Good to know I can still see a really great execution there. Looks like he just softened up his ball speed a little bit more. Not much different to this rotation. Didn't lessen up or anything, but he's 17, 18 at the arrows. Now the ball has a chance to slow down and change direction and look to carry either that solid pocket hit or the swishy strikes. Noticeable change in ball speed. And <laughs> looks over to his Weber teammates and fans who are here. Some acknowledgement. Lots of pressure here for the junior. Freshman works on an open, third frame. Oh. Just the pocket 7-10, just the seven stands. So he avoids disaster. Much changing going on. I think in qualifying, they bowled three games, so six games on the pair. We're now in game five and six right here now with this championship match. There should be some similarities. A little firmer ball speed. Notice the ball deflects. Messenger comes off again. I think that left sidewall is taking a brutal beating knocking that head pin over and carrying it back to the 10 pin. It's been active in the show so far, you're right. That sidewall. No strikes yet for the long in this match. Got a seven pin. Cross lane single pin conversion, well done for the spare. Keep things very interesting early in the championship match here. Probability is high right now for AJ. Only three frames in, though. Long, long way to go. Long way to go. Jay struck in two or three frames and nine spare in the second. Left lane was problematic. It was problematic in earlier matches, too. Vincent wants a strike here, but some pressure. didn't like it. He's a three pin again. Could have had a baby split 310, but just the three standing here for the freshman. Yeah, this is where it becomes tricky. Vincent has to take a page out of AJ's book right now as he goes left to get a little bit softer with the speed. He can still have the wider angles, which was he said was very comfortable doing. That was definitely more direct, almost feeding it towards the three pin. But 41 feet, you still have a long way to go to the pocket, so you have to create some hold with a little bit of angle. Keep chasing it inward, get a little bit softer with the speed, and allow the ball to read the mid lane. Lots of spare shooting. And Vincent told us this week it would be so critical to fill frames and avoid trouble. We're gonna have the open in the second frame. Finally, someone working on a strike here. <laughs> yes. It's been a 
battle on tough conditions, all competing for the trophy, the watch, and the honor of being a national champion here today in Las Vegas. Big shot right lane for a 24 pin lead. Perfect. Crushes the one three pocket. Expands the lead, big shot. Yeah, it goes back to that talk with Dell and, and Ruben. Just get softer. That's exactly what he's doing. Have to find a way to chase it left. The urethane took the front away. Developed early traction. Break point shifted slightly inward. Now he's around that 10 board zone between 40, 43 feet. He liked it a lot. DJ trying to join current coach, former national champ Tom Hankey is the only two Weber International men's singles champs in program history. If you recall many years ago, Diana Zavialova. Sure. She was a singles champion, broke the record, if the whatever record there was, by averaging 282. Oh. Big numbers. It's nice when you only have to throw one shot a game, uh, one shot a frame. <laughs> Fifth frame, looks for the turkey here. 34 pin lead, ringing 10 pin, good shot. Yeah, three great shots in a row. I think AJ's really figured out the lanes right now. Aforementioned PJ Haggerty did win an ISC championship in 2005 for Fresno State, so it's to trying to become the second Bulldog to achieve that feat. guys in the driver's seat right now. A lot of similarities. You could tell AJ was once a one-handed bowler. He sets up like a one-handed approach. Very tall. It's got good timing and rhythm. But AJ Walston-Holm is in control. Junior has a 42-pin lead here. Kelly trying to close it out when we return. The bearable strategy age lives putting our You have earned it and the generous Cleveland Singles Championships on the line. We move ahead to the sixth frame. Former ISC national champs on the PBA Tour, Francois Lavoie won the U.S. Open in this city, in this building. 2016 PBA Tour Rookie of the Year, Michael Tang, two-time member of Junior Team USA from San Jose State, and Nick Pate, 2017 five-time member of Team USA from the Midland Warriors. Great bowlers, winners in this event on on the success on the PBA Tour. Frankie was a couple 300 games on TV. What a career he's had from Quebec, Canada. Former star at Wichita State. Big lead, AJ, second half of the championship match. Works on a spare right lane. You get all 10. Trip 10 pin looks good. It just carries on that momentum he's created from the three frames prior. Extending his lead, seventh frame coming up. In control. And a long strike, you see some of the numbers. Just that one, that was in the sixth. A couple open frames for the freshman. Damaging. Yeah, now that you know it's a men's US Open pattern, even your bad shots have to be better than your real bad shots. You have to find a way to make and leave makeable spares. Go up by 52. Trip two pin, all smiles for AJ and his fans. 
Other teammates are here. He's closing in on a championship. Mom in the background. I know. <laughs> she what can't just stand happened? It. <laughs> yeah, left to right, a little, you know, a little bit firmer, not much, just a little bit more projection with his launch angle. Catches the lucky break. Watch the the two four eight. Eight gets tripped up from behind, kicking it forward to roll underneath the two, and trip it forward. That's when you know the brakes are on your side. Seventh here for Vincent. Nice Ooh. shot. And good help for the messenger takes out the 10 pin. Next time, Dave, I'm keeping track of how many messenger head pins there are in every match. We've had several already. Yes. Got a big theme here in Vegas today. So back to back, Jack, sixth and seventh frames for the long, but still this shot will only cut it to 32. AJ works on a double when he steps up in the eighth. Light hit just missed it again. And one, two, four, ten. So washout and struggles continue for Vince. Just lost his look, Kelly. It happens. I mean, he's 18 years old. You're doing the best you can. It's not easy. I mean, freshman year, he makes it to the championship round. I'm more likely we're going to see him in the future down the road in impossible ISC championship matches. He has the right mentality, the right thought, keep getting the angles, but he just needs to be further inside. That's the only thing he's missing right now. Good attempt. Ten pin stands, open frame. And AJ is now in cruise control with a huge 58 pin lead. And a chance to salt this one away and take home a championship. Yeah, his max score is 259. Vincent, unfortunately, can only bail out for 181. So AJ, I think, is just going to take his time and really enjoy these next few frames. Frame to go up by 68 pins. You better believe it. What a shot. AJ is on the verge of a national championship here today. Mom and dad can see the emotion starting to build up in their eyes. So proud of their son. Allen and Deborah. New York, Pennsylvania, outside Philly. What a big moment for the family here. Boston home. Got him. He's got to win. AJ Walston home has won the 2023 ISC. National Championship. Victorious in Vegas. What a moment for the junior from Weber International. This one's over. All right, Kelly, the USBC moment of the match. Look right here, Dave. Left lane's been troublesome. Right here, 248 comes forward. Seven pin comes at an angle behind eight pin. Eight pin trips the two pin four. That was definitely the key moment of the match. AJ, a winner in Vegas. We'll hear from the national champion when we return to South Point. Prescribe. I realize. I, BPAA. The USBC and BPAA are working together to build a future for the sport of bowling at all levels. Visit BPAA.com today to find out more. AJ Walston Hall is a national champion. 
takes care of Vincent along the freshman from Fresno State, 259, 170 to win the title. And he's joined now, lane level by Kelly. AJ, congratulations, 2023 ISC champion. Um, you only missed twice. What a score, 259, but now you're amongst Weber royalty. Tom Hankey, past champion. Diana Zavialova has a feel to be amongst some of the elite members. Uh, it, it feels incredible. It, it's just uh, an incredible feeling. It hasn't fully hit me yet. Uh, as you can tell, I'm losing my voice. I did a lot of screaming this week, team competition. Wish I would have been able to do this with the boys, but I had them right here next to me, and uh, I couldn't have done it without them. I couldn't have done it without Dell, Tom, Ruben, and even Randy. This one, this this one's for Randy. Yeah, what a great momento too. And also, when you were when you knew you won the championship match, you were kind of saying something to yourself in your mind and with your mouth. Could you get, fill us in on what those words were? Um, I said thanks, Stowe, for the two pin, and then uh, I kept telling myself, "You're incredible." You're incredible. You're bowling amazing. You're incredible. That's and as when I let go of the shot in the eighth, I said that was incredible. You you labeled that. So I just kept telling myself that I'm incredible. This feeling is incredible. I bowled incredible. It's just that's just the word. Incredible is the is the word for the for today. Incredible is truly is. Well, AJ, congratulations. You're going back to Florida, a 2023 singles champion. Congratulations to you, to your teammates, and all of us here at South Point Tournament Plaza. AJ National Champion joins Tom Hankey, who won it in 2019. Diana Zabgalava, who won it in 2014 on the women's side. Another national champ from Weber International. You think life is short? Football's game. to simulator the team kind of all the GP items from the promotion to AJ Walston home our intercollegiate singles champion for information on the 2024 collegiate championships long gone to the official website of bowling be sure to join us next Tuesday May 9th 7 Eastern for the intercollegiate women's team championship from the South Point Bowling Plaza here in Vegas now for my partner the Hall of Famer Kelly Kulik and the entire crew it's Dave Ryan saying so long from Las Vegas, AJ, a champion today.